here's a very LA story for you. So we lived in this building two years ago, and I would always see this like really small woman, like just in a black hoodie, outside, basically at my window. And then she'd come in, and her assistant was our neighbor. Okay. And it was Kim Kardashian. Oh no. And way. like Kanye would drop her off some days. She would come in, and I would be like, I think this is like I'd be on. I'd be outside. We have a little, we had a little patio, like a window with a patio. So I'd be outside like sunbathing essentially. Yeah. And she'd be like right there, right where you are. And I was like, I think this is Kim Kardashian. It's so <laughs> weird. Nobody, like no bodyguards, no yeah. paparazzi, just getting out of uh, a car. The guy, I'm pretty sure it was Kanye, dropped off a couple times. And then her mom came the second time. And it was like every Tuesday she was doing this thing. Wow. And what I would notice is she would leave and was decked out when right. she would leave after maybe three hours, like full wardrobe, full makeup, and they're all of a sudden be paparazzi now. Right. And so they would be capturing uh. her as she was leaving. And then like after two months, she came out with that suspicion, and so it was like giving her the press, right. same thing. Interesting. And it was like, what is happening? It was like the weirdest thing. Yeah. Well, you know, they call and alert them. Like, yeah. hey, yeah, this so is that's, the time that's what that I you learned. want to be there. I learned they don't, that. They don't I tell them when too. they arrive. It's, I learned that. I was yeah. like, oh, this isn't really, they're not really being followed no. that much at all, actually. Well, if you think about it, like, how would the paparazzi find them? Right. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Spe- I mean, I'm not sure where But you they live make them wait, the too. S- like, they would be, it was the weirdest thing where the, the, they, the paparazzi would be out there for an hour, an hour yeah. and a half Crazy. just waiting. Yeah. yeah, I used to work at a production company. It was the same production company that did the Kardashians. And so they had this interview building. And it was always like you knew when the Kardashians were also filming there because like an hour beforehand, the paparazzi would start lining up across the street. And it was always this like, I don't know if it was like a written rule or unwritten, but they would have to stay across the street and could not cross until the Kardashians got there and even then it was like this big pomp and circumstance event where Kendall or Kim or Chris would pull up in whatever nice car that they were in this was when I think Tyga was also involved in that family so he would pull up as well and then all of a sudden the paparazzi would storm across the street but it was always like they got out of that car it was probably after leaving the esthetician and you know they were fully made up ready to go like prepared to face the paparazzi it was this big event for them I cannot imagine having to get that done up every single day like to be photographed it's exhausting like I feel for them in a way I also will say like seeing her without makeup quite the transformation yes i was yeah. like oh my god if people yeah. saw you 